it's Devin with the Ski Monster, and today we are going to talk about how to avoid cold feet. If you are finally getting a pow day, there is no reason to end your day early because your toes are cold. There are solutions out there, and today I'm going to go over two different options for heated insoles and heated socks. First one I'm going to talk about is the heated sock. So the heated socks is nice because you're never going to really feel the actual heating element aside from the warmth it provides. It's going to be on the bottom of the foot and it's going to either cover under your toes and some will wrap around your toes. It's a small flat element that runs under the foot and up the back. It'll go around the heel and up the back of the boot. You can't feel it. It is very flat. It's not going to protrude or cause any irritation in your ski boot. It attaches to a battery pack that's on a snap. I'll pull this out so you can see it. So it's just a regular snap system and there are returning snaps on the inside. Once that's attached, the elements are connected. The batteries are great because they fit above the ski boot so they'll never be in between. You'll never feel it or it won't be irritating. And you can control it either from the push button on the device or from an app on your phone. On your phone, you'll be able to control the heat and that'll make the batteries last longer or shorter throughout the day and they can give you a little extra boost if it's extra cold. The second one we'll talk about is the insole. So the insole is pretty cool because it's a super flat piece that just goes right onto your footbed. When you purchase an insole, it's going to look something like this. It's basically a sticker. Truly, it's a sticker that covers the actual heating pad. This is very similar to the one that's in this sock. So it's super flat and non-obtrusive. It's a flat lock cord that's going to run over the back of your boot and through your liner. This is George's footbed, which is on a custom footbed, so he didn't have to sacrifice his footbed. He actually just put the sticker on over the heating element on top of his chosen footbed, and it'll come out the back. And then on the liner, when you have it inside, yourself or a boot fitter can cut a small hole in there, and it just runs the liner up, and you'll never feel it. So it's a great option for not kind of compromising the fit of your ski boot, but still being able to warm your feet. So if you're trying to decide between the two, the sock or the footbed, here are a couple of pros and cons to both. So like I said, this is George's actual custom footbed, but you can put this heating element on any footbed you want. So if you have custom insoles, old insoles, new insoles, a new boot, you can attach this piece to it so you don't have to sacrifice the fit of your boot. Then you have your heating element all set to go in your ski boots and you don't have to touch it or mess with it. You're just good to go every time. That's a great option for having a heated ski boot. An additional pro to having the insole is if you are really particular about your socks, you like compression socks, you like wool socks, you like certain cushioning, it's kind of nice to be able to keep your sock rotation in order and just have this underneath ready to go. So you can pick any sock you want and wear it over your footbed. If you want to go the sock route, one of the reasons I like this is I'm a big fan of anything that can do multi-purpose and not just for skiing. So I like to have the sock because uh, skiing, it's obviously changed my life and made me never have to go in because of cold toes. But I also use it for winter hiking. I use it for walking my dog. I've worn it at football games. Anything that requires being outside, if you do any kind of outdoor work, it's really nice to be able to put this sock in any boot and it doesn't need to attach to a ski boot. Again, that battery will clip right to the sock, so even if your boots are short or you're wearing sneakers, you can still wear this with it because it will hold on right there. So if you might have noticed that some of these batteries come in different sizes, so they're for the heated socks, we're going to talk about the 700 versus the 1400. So the 700 can last a whole day, but it has to be on a low setting to get you through the entire day. Um, if you put it all the way up high, that's usually a little too warm for the average person. It can make you sweat a little bit, but it is nice to kind of shock your cold toes back to life if needed. However, if you keep that on the highest setting, you will have a shorter day of heat. If you want to be able to turn them up a little bit higher more often, you're going to want to up to a 1400, which will get you further through a long day at a higher setting. The batteries that come with the insoles tend to be a little bit bigger. Um, they generally go from a 1300 to a 1700. Again, you can control all of that from your phone on the app. So you can go with the bigger battery for the longer day or the smaller battery for the shorter day. So obviously tons of benefits into heating your feet and keeping everything nice and warm. One, you can last longer during the ski day. Two, your feet don't hurt as much, but the best benefit I've found is they've actually been performance enhancing. The reason being, my toes are not frozen. I can feel what's going on under my feet. I can feel what my skis or snowboard are doing. I can feel the actual feelings of the snow and it's just made me a better skier or a better snowboarder all over. It also makes sense on why heating elements tend to be illegal in FIS racing. So if you are ready to make your days last a little longer and stop getting rid of numb feet, I definitely recommend either a heated sock or a heated insole. If you're local to the Boston area, feel free to make an appointment, check us out. We can even install these things for you. Otherwise, hit up our customer service team on live chat or phone call and check us out on theskimonster.com.